how's everyone doing there today this is cult flix fix 24 back with a video hope everyone's doing well out there it's going to be an update video i did receive some new additions through the mail i got a few new ones here to add to the collection that i wanted to show you guys um if you follow me on instagram you've probably seen some of these because i did post them but if not i'm going to go through a through them now and show you a little more about the additions so everyone sit back relax enjoy and let's get this started I'm gonna start off with this. I picked this up from Diabolic DVD. It's The Cursed. This is a new horror film. Uh, just got released, I think. And uh, it looked it interested in me. It's like a folklore type of horror film. And it looked pretty creepy from the trailer. It does have the same art on the inside, but got me really interested in about this one, so I decided to pick it up. Um, real creepy atmosphere in this one. Had some pretty uh decent effects in it too look pretty cool so it's the cursed there's the back again okay next up i picked this up from a uh, diabolic dvd as well i got 29 palms this uh intrigued me by the story and also by looking up information on it this is the slip box edition i did watch this and um this is a film that's very hard to pretty much talk about or give a rating or my thoughts there's a part of it like i didn't like and then it got me into it it's weird on this film this is when i think would grow on me with more views it's very odd there's some very odd uh uh erotic scenes through these films it's very sleazy and you get some some of the weirdest sex scenes in this film it's, can't explain it but it's a very slow burn um but as you if you can last because i was watching this and i was actually like 40 minutes through it and I was like, nah, this film ain't for me. I, I kind of like gave up on it. But then I hung in there. And if you get to like the last 20 minutes, it, this film goes like batshit crazy. Just just insane. And that ending kind of saved this film for me. So it's, it's not going to be for everyone, this film. This is Region B. But uh, I did enjoy it personally as I think about it more. It's, it's different. It's a different type of film. Like I said, it's not going to be for everyone. It has a slip box. And then there's the inside art i won't be uh, they have some uh limited edition o cards in there i won't be showing because they're very uh, a lot of nudity in them but you do get that and it's a real nice addition the slip box so that's 29 palms this is another i don't know if i'd consider this horror it does have some elements but i i think this is more drama than anything but it i don't know i i enjoyed it but it's not for everyone like i said Next up, we're going to go with the Scream Factory pickup. I picked up Cursed. This is a Wes Craven film I have not seen. Came with a slip cover. It has uh, Christina Ricci and what's his name? Jesse Eisenberg from Zombieland. It's a werewolf film. I've heard mixed stuff about this, but I want to check it out because I do enjoy my werewolf films. And it does come with an unrated cut. And you do get both versions. You have a theatrical cut as well as a unrated cut and the other art's basically like the slips i flipped it this because it has a different color scheme as you can see there but yeah screen factory i pretty much pick up i'm a big collector from screen factory so that is cursed I, I think this is 2005 yeah 2005 film next up i got this limited edition of uh johnny mnemonic with keanu reeves this film passed me by in the 90s. I haven't I haven't seen it. It's a real cool cover art. I've always wanted to see it, so decided to pick it up. I heard the transfer is not very good, so I haven't seen it yet, but I've, I've heard things that the transfer ain't great. There's a art right there. You got a young Keanu Reeves. It does come with a booklet as well. That's probably the most well-known art there that I remember. I think it's the VHS cover. Cause I've seen this film a lot of times all over. Never watched the film, but I've seen the edition since the VHS days. But yeah, it comes with a real nice booklet. Just sturdy. Like I said, it's a sturdy slip box. There's alternate art. You get some O cards in here as well. No back art. Udu Kair, man. I always enjoy him in films. There's real glossy these these cards right here Keanu Reeves like a crazy sci-fi flick is what I'm getting out of it this edition is nice 
Johnny Mnemonic. This is region B locked as well. As they look at the art again on the slip box. I'm pretty excited to see this one. Enjoy my 90s, my 90s flicks, man. It's Johnny Mnemonic. So last but not least, really excited about this one. I picked up the Wild Things uh, edition from Arrow, the 4K edition. I did get the Stillbook edition because I like this art better. It's more retro. It does come with some different art on the non-Stillbook edition, but this one uh, pretty much sold me. I love the art. I haven't seen this film since, probably back since it came out. So I remember the famous uh, kissing scene between uh, Nev Campbell and what's her name? Uh, Denise Richards, the that's what it's famous for. <laughs> but I remember it being a pretty good, like, whodunit type of film. There's not really any back art. Um, this is an excellent addition. I just love the art. And then I'm putting it up right there with as much as I got the True Romance one. Similar art. Very retro, which I like. So that's why I decided to pick up this edition. Well, let's get into the edition here. We got the still book, which is already open there. <laughs> And the still book is nice too. Look at that gloss. Little nice gloss to it. Kind of like comic book art. And then get the back. Some pretty cool art there too. You can see an alligator. And it does have some O cards as well. There's an advertisement. That looks pretty cool. Um, Matt Dillon. Denise Richards, and she was some eye candy for sure. Back, back in the day, Nev Campbell, eye candy as well. We've got some Kevin, Kevin Baconator in here, man. So, yeah, got some back art. That's like probably the original art from the VHS right there. Recognize that. Got some inside art as well. I apologize for the glare, guys. Got disc on, disc art. Whoa. Everything is sliding on me here. Got the, what is that, Blu-ray and 4K. There's Denise Richards on the inside. Put that back. Loving this edition, man. Here's the art again. And I'll put those, those back in here. Comes with a booklet as well. Back. Scan through this, skim through it. I can't wait to revisit this film. It's been many years since I've seen this. And it does come with a poster as well. I won't be extending that. My camera don't have the the view for that. So yeah, this is wild things, man. Real psyched for this one. Wait to revisit it. Putting this back in as a mission. Like I was saying, I, this one in the True Romance just blew me away, the artwork on them. It's my type of style. I like that retro co color schemes on them. That's Wild Things, Arrow Video. That's all I got, guys. There's a recap. And Johnny Mnemonic 101 Films. A couple limited editions there, a few limited edition. Cursed, Dream Factory. 29 Palms. It's another slip box edition. And Cursed. It's my latest pickups, guys. Please hit a like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear what you thought. Everyone have a great uh, week out there. Stay safe, be kind to each other. This is Cult Flicks Fix 24. Back with a video. Peace.